first step is you're going to want to drill a hole for drainage and I'm just going to drill straight into that hole in the middle and then we're going to get our bigger bit and I'm going to take a junk brush to bond with the bowl above it. I've got my first strand of beads and I'm just going to take these one line at a time and just snip off the extra beads and I'm going to repeat this process. I've got the stone texture applied. Now it's time to go in with my black spray paint. And here's a closer look at my DIY beaded flower pot. These cute containers came from the Dollar Tree to attach the pink to the purple. I'm gonna go ahead and place the adhesive about right in there. Slide together, very firm hold. Just top it right in the middle there. I've got a large adhesive strip and I'm just going to put it on the back side of my sconces and then I'm going to attach it to the wall. I think it turned out super cute and not too bad for only $15. Pick up some faux flowers, pull the top layer of petals off the flower, and remove the inner plastic cage. Reassemble the flower, grab a box of Plaster of Paris and some water, and mix according to the manufacturer's directions. Dunk the flower into the plaster and swirl around. Take a tea light candle and set in the middle of the wet flower and wrap a rubber band around the outside. After about an hour of drying, remove the rubber band and tea light. If after a flower has dried, you find that some of the flower's color is still showing, you can re-dunk it in the plaster of Paris to get everything covered. I love the white powdery finish of the plaster covered flower. If you want to take it a step further, brush some metal leaf adhesive sizing to the petals of the flower. Gently brush off the excess with a small brush. Slip in a tea light, light the candle, and enjoy. You're going to need some dollar store solar lights. Flip the bowl upside down and we need to remove the label. Next, I'm gonna focus on the solar light. So we just take the stem off. We're not even gonna need that. You need to open up the solar light and pull out the tag so that the solar light works. Then you can place that back on and this part is ready to be used. This will be the base of our project. What I'll be using for this project for weight are these dollar store rocks. So I'm gonna be placing them inside. For the next step, I'm gonna place the solar light in top like this. I'll go ahead and add a few more rocks to this. So what I'm gonna do is add a little dab of hot glue on each corner, like so. I'm gonna take that bowl and flip it upside down and place it right there on top so it's centered. So just to show you, if I remove this out, you can see here, I would be able to pull this off and replace this easily with another dollar store solar light if this burns out at some point. Here they are in my dish flower garden and I'm thrilled with how they turned out. I'm going to stick these grasses and weeds to this glass, cut off these extra bits on the bottom. Now I'm going to stick the tissue paper to the vase. I'm going to use a glue stick and then just rolling it Pulling it tight on this side, some more glue down and gently stick that in place too. I'm going to go around and just trim and just see how pretty these are. Really, really simple project to do. Headed down to a local Dollar Tree. I'll grab some rope, some clear bottles, and some cool little lights. Just take the hook off the top of the light. Next, we're gonna take the bulb off. Next, we need to take the actual light mechanism and pop it out. What we need to do is paint this cover. Now on the bottle, we have a cork here. We can go ahead and just remove that. Next, I grabbed off of Amazon a bottle cutter. Put the bottle on the rollers and you go ahead and start turning it. What you want to do is hear this noise. That means you're cutting right through the bottle, but it won't cut all the way through. I'm going to show you a little cut line on there. Stick the bottle in the boiling water for a good 30 seconds. Once you got it in there and it's heated up, immediately go ahead and put it in the icy cold water. It's going to separate along the score line and look at that. Perfect. Takes off the bottom and you've got a nice flat smooth line. Put the lights back through our painted cover and clip it back on. Take some E6000 glue and place it around the edge. Take some hot glue and put it in the areas I didn't put the E6000 on. That's going to hold the cover in place while the glue is drying. You're going to stick the lights inside the bottle, set the cover on top. Then we're going to take that rope, stick some hot glue on the neck of the bottle, let that hold, and then we're going to start wrapping it all the way around the neck. And then take this extra twine, we're going to put it through the hook. I made three of these and we put them up and it made a perfect 
summer afternoon. Count these colorful poles. You're gonna turn it upside down. You're gonna take that heat tool and just press down. And we're gonna wanna do that to a couple more of these. I'm just going to use this to trace. I'll start with one of the blue bowls and one of the clear ones. And I'm gonna take some Gorilla Clear Grip. You're gonna to wanna to put this on and then let it sit. Make sure that you get this exactly right. One more blue bowl. Let that sit right there. Do you see how you can see the battery packs down at the base? I'm going to take some ivy. See how you can uh, disguise that a little bit. I decided to add a few white poppies. And you can see how much light these will bring to a tabletop. Headed Head to your local dollar store and pick up a clear plastic bowl, a metal flower vase, a floral foam square, and some faux flowers. Pull a wood candle lid from a used candle and remove the rubber ring. Spray paint this candle lid, the clear plastic bowl, and the metal flower vase. Use a strong adhesive and glue the candle lid to the bottom of the painted metal vase. Glue the painted bowl to the top of the candle lid. Give the entire footed pedestal bowl a light coat of white spray paint. Put some hot glue on the four corners of the square florist foam and glue it to the bottom of the bowl. Take pieces of faux greenery and stick them in and around the base next. Take some bunches of faux flowers, stick the separated flowers into the florist foam. If you have any bare spots showing, fill those areas with a little green moss. Place the pedestal floral arrangement on a dollar store charger plate and surround it with green moss. I hope this inspired you to create a beautiful floral pedestal centerpiece for under ten dollars. Down to my local Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start with these glass beads. I'm gonna also head over and get some rubbing alcohol. Next I grab this bowl, got it from Home Depot. I'm gonna grab some sand, start putting it in the bottom. So you want to fill it up to where when you get your bowl you're gonna kind of be level with the top and it has a firm foundation. Let's go ahead and start putting some more sand in so that it holds it in place. Let's level it out. Make sure that bowl is firm. We don't want any spillage or that thing moving when we light it up. Go ahead and put the metal bowl in and then remember those glass beads and start placing them all the way around. Take that rubbing alcohol and pour a little bit in there. Give it a little bit of a flame and it's gonna light right up. If you need to put it out, you're just gonna put a metal lid on top. It's great for just relaxing nearby. Two blue buckets that I found at Dollar Tree, cutting the handles off. I'm gonna be flipping them over, glue them together. I'm stacking my other bowl on top of it. We're gonna take our pool noodles and we're gonna start cutting them in half, all the way down on both sides, putting enough glue and then holding the pool noodle in place pulling the pool noodle to form the shape. I'm taking caulk, adding it to the indentations between my pool noodles, but I'm just gonna be painting this entire thing white. Stone spray paint, and we are going to spray it completely. And here is the finished product.